Okay, so in this video, we're gonna to put together our teardrop ornament. And it's actually pretty straightforward to put together. So we'll go ahead and begin here. And here is our main structure. And what I want you to do is just go ahead and fold everything over like so. And then go ahead and fold the rest of these little teeth or these tabs over. Just get them trained and ready to go. There are some very tiny ones here as well. And just do your best to get those folded over. We're not actually going to put glue on those. They're just kind of there to fill in little gaps in that little section so that it doesn't seem incomplete. But the structure itself will stay together nicely even without putting glue on those little tiny little tabs. So um, hopefully you can get in there and just fold them over. And even if you can't, I think it'll still assume its position and work out just fine. So just again, make sure that you go through and fold all these little teeth over and get it ready to glue. This is the second time that I'm putting this one together and it goes together fairly easily. So what we're gonna do is begin by putting glue on the little teeth there. And let me just get my glue bottle ready to go here. Okay, so we can go ahead and put glue on these three little tabs here. And we don't need to put a lot on there, but just make sure that you get enough glue out to the edge there so that we get a nice clean seam and begin with the one towards the center of the body and just kind of hold that down while it gets its grip and then work your way up and just try to do your best to align everything along the natural curve of the shape. And as you can see here, we don't have any horizontal score lines because we wanted to ensure that the shape be nice and round. So it is a tad, tad, tad more challenging to get everything aligned correctly, but it's nowhere near difficult. It's just a little more challenging, but beautiful things require a little extra a little extra effort, but I think effort, calling this effort is a stretch because it's pretty straightforward. So just continuing to the next one and gluing it to its neighbor. Okay, and just getting that one in place just like that. And the cool thing is with these is we're actually gonna be putting panels on this. So even if you get some glue that splotches out it's not the end of the world because that's going to all be covered up in the end. But still, try to be nice and neat and do your best. Okay, that one's good. So we can move on to the next one. And you're basically going to repeat this process a few more times until we get this thing closed up. So go ahead and do what I just did a few more times down the row. And then I'll meet you towards the end here where we go and close the shape up and then we can continue on. Now I'm kind of taking a different approach here where I'm kind of using a different grip. I've got this finger here pushing in. I got this finger here pushing from inside because as this shape begins to kind of close in on itself, I think this is probably the best way to get these tabs to hold, okay? So we do kind of want to stretch that out just a tiny little bit, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the next three tabs here. Not too much, just a tiny little bit, just to make sure that we get that nice and covered. And then you can kind of run your finger on that little piece there if you've got a little bit too much glue on there, just rub that off. And again, do your best to get that nice and lined up. Hold that first one in place. 
give it a few seconds and then move on up to the next one. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so main structure is almost put together. We've got three more little teeth to glue into place before we close this shape up. And then the rest of it is pretty much a cakewalk. It's just decorating and embellishing. And I'll kind of show you what we did to add a little more elegance to this piece. So let's get that first piece in, into place there. Just like that. Kind of really putting a lot of pressure in there. Okay, next section. And the final section here. There we go. Okay, so this thing's pretty much ready to be closed up. Now, what I'm gonna suggest you do, and we're gonna have to work quickly here, is put glue on all of these sections here. Okay, and I'm just kind of dotting this right now. And then I'll take the tip of my bottle and just kind of smear the glue out, out to the edge here, just to get a nice clean seam. Okay, and you probably want to start at the bottom here, making sure that you get the bottom nice and aligned. And give it a second to get its initial grip. And then you can take a dowel or something skinny and round and kind of force it in there to help you push from the inside to get that to hold nicely. Okay, just like that. And then you can kind of work your way up the rest of the shape to get that to hold. And I'm just kind of holding that last piece in place. There we go. All right. So we've got the basic structure, the um, ornament here, all ready to go. And what we can go ahead and do is put this little piece on the bottom, okay? So let's go ahead and put glue on these little teeth here. Okay, I'm getting a nice glob in the middle, and then I'm just kind of, I'm not actually adding any more glue, I'm just taking the glue that I already have. Maybe in some places I'll add a little bit, but just kind of spreading it out to the outer edge so that when we put that top piece on, it creates a nice clean seam for us. Okay, so we go ahead and pop that piece on and give it just a few seconds to get its initial hold. And then you can go ahead and scooch these little pieces around. You're basically gonna kind of push them inward and push them around until everything looks nice and aligned. Okay, do your best. Again, it's gonna be covered up with a little tip at the bottom. Okay, so, and actually what I did before was I actually took a pencil and popped it in there to push down from the inside. Just kind of made it hold a little bit better. Okay, and then we can go ahead and create the little pointy thing at the bottom. I don't know if you want to call it a finial or what, but this, uh, I'm showing this in um, just AC cardstock, but we did ours our final one with um, silver foil. Okay, so all we're doing is we're folding these teeth down. Okay, and then we're gonna fold the rest of these pieces around to kind of create like a, basically like a uh, pyramid sort of shape or like a diamond shape. Okay, we have this one tab here. We're gonna go ahead and put glue on this. And again, we did this in a, a silver foil that came out really classy looking. So we're just gonna glue that to the back side of this guy. Just make sure that you get it nice and aligned and just hold that in place. 
Um, with silver foil, this is a little bit more difficult to work with because it's thicker. Um, they do have some thinner silver foils. I think the one that we have is the stuff that you get from, I believe, Michael's or Joanne's. Okay, so have that shape. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and put glue on these teeth here. Okay, and we're gonna close this up. And it helps to have the teeth kind of pointing up a little bit so that as you push this down, it grabs more surface area. And then once it is down, just kind of hold it with both of your thumbs down and then use these fingers here to kind of scooch the rest of the sides around to make sure that you've got it nice and centered. Okay, and then once you have it nice and centered, just kind of hold it in place and let the glue set just a tiny little bit before you release it. Okay, so that's how that piece is gonna look. Perfect little pyramid. Actually, it's, it's got more sides than like the pyramids you'd see in Egypt, but it's the closest thing I could, it's like a diamond, I guess. It's probably a better way to explain it. Um, okay, so we've got that. What you can go ahead and do is put glue on the bottom of this and get that glued to the bottom of this piece. Okay, so let that set. Okay, so we've got that. And now um, we can go ahead and put our panels on. Now you're gonna have six panels. I only have three here, I only cut out three because the process is exactly the same. And the panel is just gonna go on like this. Okay, so if you want, you can go ahead and take um, like a dowel or a, in my case, a screwdriver to kind of train this a little bit to make it lie easier on the surface of this thing, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put glue. We get a nice little bit of glue along the inside, and then again, use just a tiny little bit of glue along the edges so that we've got a nice clean seam, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna alternate your panels, okay? So I have a green one here, Let's say the next one would be a red one. Just make sure that you've got it nice and centered on that piece there. And just push down, make sure that the glue gets a good grip. Okay, you put, put your next panel here. Okay, and I'm kind of rushing, which is why some of the things are not staying on very well. And I'm not gonna alternate this because I just want, want to show you how it should look. Okay, I'm gonna curve that just a little bit more. But let's pretend that this is a red piece. Okay, and I'm just gonna put glue on there and get some out to the edge as well. And I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna put that next piece right next to it. Just make sure that you've got it right up to the top there and that you've got a nice seam there. And then it goes right up to the top there. Just push down and you're gonna continue that. I mean, you could technically do this all in one color. I just think it's really pretty if you alternate it. And then we also have alternating um, decorative panels here that you're gonna glue starting at the top here. You want it flush with the top and then you're just gonna glue that right on there and you're gonna alternate those colors. So actually with the green one, I would do a complementary, or not a complementary, but a, um, um, I'm not even sure what the term is, but an alternate color, okay? So with green, we go red. we we'll pretend that this is the red strip. We put a green on that, okay? So that's pretty much that. And then we have the little top piece and that goes together very easily. So we're just kind of folding at the score marks. We have a set of teeth here. We're gonna fold these down, okay? And actually, we do have a second piece that you're gonna glue right on top of there. That's just to kind of reinforce this because there's gonna be some string in there. It might rub on there and we don't want this to break. So you can glue this right on top of there. Okay, and then you can go ahead and put a little bit of glue on this tab here. And you're gonna glue that to the inside 
of that piece, like so. And just be patient with the small piece. Make sure that that glue sets nicely and make sure that you have it nice and aligned. Okay, and technically you can fold this flat and hold it between your fingers until it sets. Okay, and then we can kind of squeeze it back into shape and push these little teeth down and we're gonna glue that like so. So go ahead and put glue on these teeth here. Make sure you get some glue out to the edge. Again, I love those clean seams. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna push down. Oh, and by the way, before you put this thing on, you're gonna want to, you're gonna wanna put your string in, string through there and um, tie it, just like I did here. Okay, otherwise it's gonna be really impossible to do that after this thing is glued on to your actual ornament. Okay, so you've got your piece here. And then what I would do is just grab a little bit of glue and put a little ring around the top. Okay, make sure you can go kind of heavy because we do, do want this to hold really well. This is where all the tension is going to be. And we'll just take this, and of course yours is gonna have panels on it. Okay, we just slide that down. Make sure it's nice and even. Get rid of any excess glue you may have on there. And there's your ornament, okay? So very simple. Let me show you our final one here. As you can see, we used a silver foil, silver string, silver foil down here, um, glitter for these secondary panels. This is Graphic 45 St. Nicholas paper. We did alternating colors on that and we blinged it out with um, tons of rhinestones to really, really make it pop. And I think it's a beautiful ornament. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.